My name is Karen Scharf with Modern Image Communications. Since we provide multiple marketing services for small businesses, we often get inquiries from prospective clients who would like us to build them a new website. They believe that their current website must be bad because it's not listed in the search engines, and they're convinced that a new website will automatically ensure a top 10 Google rank. Now, if you believe that line of thinking, I have good news and bad news. The good news is you probably don't need an entirely new website, but the bad news is there's no way to automatically ensure a top 10 position. However, there are a few steps you can take to improve your search engine ranking, and here are a few of the easier ones. First, use your keywords. This might seem kind of silly, but I've seen it happen quite often. I've consulted with more than one business owner who said, my keywords are X, Y, and Z, but upon reviewing the website, we discovered it was definitely not optimized for X, Y, or Z. Keyword research does not end with the research. Once you develop your list of words and phrases, you must incorporate those words into your website. You want to add your keywords to your title tags, add your keywords to your headlines, add them to the first paragraph of your body copy, and to the following paragraphs in a natural way. Next, you want to add more text to your home page. There has been lots and lots of information about not using Flash or Splash pages as the website home page. Unfortunately, many marketers and even some professional web designers have simply replaced the Flash with large static images. Your home page is definitely the most important page on your site. Since it's the page that most often gets linked to, it's usually the page that the spiders will land on and crawl first. Remember, the spiders cannot read graphics. If there's no text or not enough text to tell the spiders what your page is about, chances are it won't get indexed favorably. You need enough text on your homepage to convince the spiders that you are the authority on the subject that you are trying to rank for. Personally, I like to see at least 300 words. Between 600 and 800 words is really ideal. Next, you want to make sure you have a unique title tag for each and every page. This step is so vitally important, but believe it or not, it's really extremely easy to miss. If you're using a content management system, then your title tags might be created automatically. And if you're using a WYSIWYG template-based editor, such as Dreamweaver or ExpressionWeb, then your title tag might be written into the templates, which results in the same title for each and every page. And this is really bad, because the title tag is generally the first thing that the spiders read. It does carry a lot of weight. And if you use the same title on each and every page, by the time the spider gets to the second or third instance of the same title tag, it will assume that that page has already been indexed. So use a unique title for each page and place your keywords or keyword phrases as close to the front of the tag as possible. And don't go overboard with Web 2.0. Web 2.0 technology provides remarkable ways for your human visitors to interact with you on your website, but your human visitors will never find your site if the search engine spiders don't index it. Now, I'm not suggesting that you eliminate Web 2.0 entirely. In fact, I do think you should embrace it, but be sure to incorporate plain text with the new technology to give the spider something to crawl. So, for instance, if your top menu bar is written in Ajax, include a plain text menu at the bottom of the page. And if your page is nothing more than a video or a downloadable podcast, include a text-based synopsis of the video or the audio file. Try to incorporate at least some keyword-rich text on every page for the spiders to sink their teeth into. You also want to find a few relevant linking partners. Remember, we're trying to convince the search engines that your website is the authority. And in Google's logic, if other sites think you're authority, then there's a good chance that you probably are. So look for a few relevant linking partners, and relevancy really is the key. Try industry directories, hub sites, link exchanges, but do be careful with that tactic, and other sites of authority. And be sure to use your keywords in your anchor text. So in a nutshell, to improve your chances of getting a better search engine ranking, you want to use your keywords correctly, provide enough keyword-rich text, and find a few keyword-relevant inbound links. 
I know it sounds simple enough, but it does require some dedicated time and ongoing effort. So roll up your sleeves and get to work. And in the meantime, I invite you to visit our website at modernimage.com to download our many free reports and checklists. That's www.modernimage.com.